Hello, my name's Michelle Noonan from Divi Soup and for recipe number 21 I'm going to show you how to add the Ken Burns effect to the Divi full width header. For the full blog post for this recipe and the accompanying CSS you can go to divisoup.com forward slash r21. So for our ingredients we're going to need the Divi theme from Elegant Themes, an active child theme, and a suitable image sized at 1920 by 1200 pixels. This is going to take you around 5 minutes max. And for our preparation we need to set up the full width header. So this is the effect that we're going to create. So the first thing you need to do is in your WordPress dashboard navigate to pages and add new and make sure the Divi Builder is activated and then we're going to create a full width section. We can delete the standard section that's already there and then we're going to insert a module and we're going to choose full width header. Now the first thing you want to do is in the custom CSS tab in the CSS class field we're going to give it a CSS class of DS dash Ken Burns dash header. Then in the general settings we're going to add the title, a subheading if you want one and we're going to set make full screen to yes. Then if you want a button or two you can add those and then you can choose any other settings that you want in this module but do not add the background image. We're going to do that via CSS and the reason this effect is not so simple to add to the full width header is because the background image doesn't have its own class so we can't target it so we need to do that in a different way. When you've done making your changes save and exit now the final thing we need to do here, which is very important, is to open up the section settings and set the transparent background colour to yes. That's very important. If you don't do this, you won't see your image. Save and exit. And then once you have a title, you can save and publish your page. Now for the method. All that's required in the method is to add the CSS. So the CSS for this recipe does a few things. The first section sets the header to a relative position so that we can then apply an absolute position to our background image. So what we're doing is we're using the before pseudo class to add the image to the background. So here's my image URL and this is what you're going to want to change to your own image. This section here sets the position of the image so that it's right at the top left of the module. Here we set the width and height to 100% of the screen size but then we make it slightly larger so that when we add the zoom and pan effect we don't get any white space around the image. Here we're setting the duration for the effect and also adding the forwards value which will stop the effect when it's finished. Now on the demo I have it set to loop so that you can see the effect without refreshing the page but for the actual recipe we'll use forwards instead of infinite. And the last section is what makes the effect happen. So what we're doing here is we're scaling the image from its original size to 1.2 times its original size. And here we're moving the image to minus 150 pixels on the x-axis and minus 120 pixels on the y-axis. Now you can change these values to have your image move in a different direction but if you do change them then you're more than likely going to, going to want to change these values up here so that you avoid any white space. So you're going to copy all of this CSS onto your clipboard 
and you're going to paste it into your child theme style sheet or the custom CSS box in Divi theme options. For the purpose of this recipe, I'm actually going to put it in the custom CSS box for this particular page. So once you've added that and updated it, you can then preview your page and see your effect in action. And that's it. If you like this recipe, head on over to divisoup.com forward slash r21 and at the bottom of the blog post you'll see an area where you can get access to download the layout. And you can also subscribe to my newsletter to receive all of my recipes weekly straight to your inbox. Thanks for watching.